Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, sorry, I'm kind of sick. <clears throat> and so I posted two videos, I think. So this is the full final goal, um, presentation, but instead it is just me talking instead of me just going to the slides. If you don't want me just talking to you guys and I'm going through the slides, just click on the other video. Yeah, this is the full time girl presentation, and, okay, so she was born on May 12th, 1820 in France, Italy. Nationality, she is British and English, her parents were William Nyanger and Francis Nyanger. <clears throat> she died on August 13th, 1910 in Mayfield, London, United Kingdom. I know that's very specific. She has one sibling, Francis. Bonnie, I don't know how to spell. I, I don't know how to pronounce her name. She was called the lady with the lamb that was at the same. And Clement Fever was why was how she died. Once, <clears throat> how did she become interested in being a nurse? Sometimes she was reading a book under a tree when she had a awakening of calling to do God's work. That is what inspired her to be a nurse in the first place and help get hospitals clean up for women people. I know. It's a, it's a lot of information, but you should have seen my last slides for my school presentation because that was a mess. How she became a nurse. <clears throat> when she told her parents about wanting to be a nurse, they did not approve of it because they wanted hold to go into marriage and raise a loving family. After many times refusing marriage, her father finally let her go to Germany for three months to study nursing when she officially became a nurse. In Germany, the, the school she went to to study to be a nurse was Pastor Theodor Vindler Hospital. I'm hoping I said that correct, because, yeah. In the 1850s is when she became a nurse. <laughs> Why was she called Lady with the Lamp? This is a very simple answer to answer. It's in many of the books that is written about her. Front Erica was called Lady with the Lamp because she would at night check on the wounded or injured with the lamp or candle in hospitals and during the Queen War. I think <clears throat> we'll talk about more about the Queen and War. I think next. Yeah, here we go. Sydney Herbert, Secretary of the Crimean War, asked Florence Nightingale to manage a group of nurses because there was too many injured soldiers and not enough doctors to take care of them. People seek help on how to best manage the hospitals for the war. And what I did not put in here is two details. One, before the Crimean um, War started, um, nurse, um, Doctors seek help. This is what I said with managed for hospitals because since she was very um she had a history with um hospitals and stuff and the field and a war is usually dirty with all this stuff. They want to seek help on how best to manage it, like how to best keep it clean so people won't have to get sick again. And I'm talking about too many injured. So she led a group of females, well, of nurses, to help the men because there was just men in the war just helping. I mean, like take, taking care of the injured and wounded. So, but then the but then the doctors didn't approve of it. But then they realized how struggling, how much of, the, of a struggle it. It is to the care of our disorders, so those are the disorders that I didn't put in. Yeah, it's if you search it up, you will get like, the same answer that's similar to mine. But I did not put it in here, I just realized that. Sorry. Who is Florence Franklin? Florence Franklin was a British nurse who should be from in South Caucasian. She was known for many things, but mainly for making hospitals cleaner and a safer place to be for people who were injured or wounded. People would also say that she is also known for modern nursing and using one of the first pie 
when we first first went out Pi Chow by Pi Mew. So to use um to use a certification in Pi Mew, so that's how it is. Um this is similar to the ones that this is like a random pie chart that I found. So yeah. Some interesting facts about Fontaine. She was homeschooled by her father. Her sister and her were named after two cities in Italy. Florence is named after Florence, Italy, where her parents went for their honeymoon. Her training school for nurses was the first sex sec, sec school at, at the time. <clears throat> International Nurses Day is celebrated on her birthday. Florence published her first book about hospitals called Nurse on Hospitals, published in 1859. This is the book. Right here. That's on the sea. So, yeah. What impact did Florence have on the world? The main, the main big impact she had on the world was inspiring younger women to become a nurse. And because of her efforts for healthcare and hospitals, it made a big influence on people in the 19th and 20th centuries. She also established St. Thomas Hospital and then go to school for nurses. Both were founded in the 1960s, sorry, and because of the training to go for nurses, it also inspired upper class women and other people to be nurses during that time period. Those upper class women, because she suffered from anger as in previous lives, um, I read. She was an upper class. She had all that stuff. She had dolls. She would always, she would pretend to be a nurse with those dolls. That is how she also could make sure and be a nurse. That's also I did not put. But because women weren't allowed, and a bunch of women at that time weren't allowed to have like a nurse, weren't allowed to be a nurse because it was so messy and stuff. Then Francesca came along and they were inspired by her. So not only did upper class women so not only did upper class women want to be a nurse, but other people too. Because of Florence Nango. What are some awards of Florence Angle won? Some awards came to Florence Angle or the Royal Red Cross and the Order of the Merlins. Fun fact. There was an award named after her. Florence Angle Medal. So this is the medal. It's gonna say it's a sport by my medal. So that's so that's the medal. Here are some quotes. Do you guys want to speed them? Okay. Do you guys want to speed any of these quotes, honestly? So yeah. And here are some credits. I don't know that's kinda of bad, but so the slides from slidesgo.com, they are like the best. It's it's free because it's vlogging. The Lions by me and this is what I No, this is a present this presentation was a school assignment in English. Um this is images by Google and Slides.co and since we had to um information by trusted websites, but I'm saying by trusted websites. I knew that Wikipedia and um, Roman history, stuff like that. I'm sorry, I don't know all of it. But I trusted the websites because we had to cite where well, we got our sources from. So that's why I said information by trusted websites. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day today. I will come out with another video probably today as well. So, yeah. Okay. Bye.